Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Carton Brewing. These guys are out of Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. And I want to tell you right off the bat, guys, Rico has sent me a bunch of these guys' beer and they do some pretty damn tasty stuff. Uh, I ain't going to say all of them were tens or nines, but... They all been excellent beers. I ain't had anything bad from these guys. So they usually do some pretty tasty stuff. And their cans are notorious for having the orange uh, color on it and some kind of artwork or graphics. And it is on the can. They are paying to have these cans produced with this high dollar graphics on it. I would just have sent them to a plain Jane silver can and put a stick on wrapper on it and save the money they're spending to have these special, uh, specialized or specialty cans printed up and concentrate on putting a quality beer in there, which they do, but having these high dollar cans they're putting in increases the cost of the beer, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. So uh, I just assume all these breweries go away from having a special can printed up. I know the people that print these cans up don't want to hear that. But uh, let's make the beer reasonably be priced by just doing a plain Jane can and putting a stick on wrap around label on it. That way you don't have a whole lot invested in the can before anything even goes into it. So uh, just my opinion though. Uh, this is their hop pun and what it is according to the front is a hoppy pale ale. This is not an IPA. This is a hoppy pale ale. And they usually give us all the information at Carton Brewing that you want to make an educated decision of whether you want to buy it. Right here on the front of the can it says alcohol is 5.3% and the IBUs are 33. So it's not a huge beer at 5.3%, but it's only got 33 IBUs, which, you know, if you're not into the IPAs with that strong bitterness, a lot of those IPAs are anywhere between 60 and 100 IBUs even for a single. Most of the time they're not up to the 100 on a single, but I have had them with that much uh, IBUs on a single. So uh, uh, if you want to get into something hoppy and don't have that strong bitterness on the back end, these hoppy pale ales are a good way to go. So, and right on the bottom, it's got all kind of information. Uh, it says start, uh, start at 44P Journey began. And then underneath that it says 03, was that 18, is that what Rico says? Uh, 10 is what he says, so maybe that's an O instead of an 8. March 10th of 2017. So, uh, and today is the 13th of May. So March 10th, April 10th, May 10th, and this is the 13th, so this is right at two months old. A uh, couple days past two months old, so... You want to have these beers, in my honest opinion, and I tell you this all the time, guys, and a lot of y'all get tired of me, hear me date, uh, harp on this date shit, but I got to do it. Uh, this beer, in my opinion, has only got another three to four week shelf life. Now, at the end of that three month shelf life, which I want my hoppy beers, pale ales and IPAs, uh, to be considered fresh to me, uh, I, I need a date. I'd like to see the ABV in, a, in the IBUs. As far as I'm concerned, the date and the uh, ABV is critical. And on hoppy beers, the IBU is nice to have. So these guys are doing all three. So 
two thumbs up to those guys at Carton for doing that. But I do think having these high dollar specialty printed cans adds cost to the four pack or the six pack, whatever the ABB is. This is probably and a lot of 16 ounces, even at 5.3% are four packs because they're 16 ounces. Even Bell's too hard at L, even though it's a seven percenter, uh, it's a four pack. So they're giving you more, but they taking they're not giving you six most of the time. The 16 ounces are fours. So Rico writes, uh, Carton Hot Pun 5.3 Hoppy Pale Ale with 33 IBUs, features experimental hops 06 300 and HBC 342, uh, Super Galena and Mosaic. He said this is also brewed with British yeast. And he said he picked up a four pack and it was $12. So that's how that goes. Uh, maybe if it wouldn't have been the can printed specially up and they, they would have put in a stick on wrapper, maybe that would bring the cost down to maybe $9 or $10. That's what I'd like to see instead of spending a fortune on it. But they're known for putting a bunch of fancy artwork on these beers. Uh, <clears throat> says here, uh, Canon 31017, he knows that some, not all, carton beers are contract brewed elsewhere. I wasn't aware of that either. He said this one was brewed and he canned at Two Roads Brewing in Connecticut. So this beer was actually not done in New Jersey. It was contract brewed somewhere else at Two Roads and, and, and sold. I don't know how that works when they brew it in another state. How the distribution, when they, after they can it, do they ship it all back to New Jersey to be distributed or are they distributed from Connecticut? I don't know how that works, guys. I, I don't. They are not distributed around here as far as I know. Maybe in Northern Virginia they are. This part of Virginia where I'm at, no. Never seen one of their beers down here. So, uh, commercial description says, you can play boundary pushing flavor games all you like, but you should never turn your back on fundamentals. Hot Pun is a born of playing with the most straightforward of beers, the Hoppy American Pale. We push around experimental hops, <coughs> soften the edges with traditional pale malt beer, and then tie it all together with the fruity essence of British yeast. Look for the tooty, fruity, berry side of modern hopper aromatics in a pleasant drinking, straightforward pale. Drink hot pun and keep the chop sharp. So, a lot of times on these descriptions and stuff and you know they just go off the chain I don't know they got somebody that they pay to set up and think of this shit up I don't have any idea so anyway that's all we need to talk about so without any further talking let's get into the beer here like I said not a big beer it's only about 5.3 percent 16 ounce though should get a good full glass on this Cuisine, the cuisine is uh, Pan-Asian, cheeses are earthy, camera burnt, fontina, your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby Parmesan, tangy cheeses, brick and feta, and it says here to me just poultry. Last word of pint, Becker and I come to Mug, Simon Sidell. I'm using my favorite tulip blast and not recommended for extended celery since it is a pale ale and a hoppy pale ale on top of that. So, uh, about a finger and a half of head on that pour, a nice rich amber color. It is perfectly clear. This is no juice bomb. This is a filtered beer, guys. Let's get a nose to it. Nice, subtle, fruity notes. I mean, this is not no big up in your face West Coast style or even a New England style because it's clear and filtered beer. This is, to me, is more of an East Coast style beer on the aroma. The hops are there. And it's still a fresh beer at two months old. But it's not up in your face, grapefruit, pine, pineapple, and all that stuff there going on. This is almost a session beer at 5.3%. I consider anything less than 5% a session beer. So this is just barely above the session beer. Nice citrusy notes. A little bit of maltiness on it. And some slight hint or some oranges or something in there. Not big grapefruit, mango, pineapple, pine. Very subtle. Well, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Very smooth, very easy drinking. To me, very sessionable. This is just a hair out of the lawnmower class. 
and even that, a seasoned craft beer drinker that's used to drinking big beers, this would be a lawnmower more class. Uh, very well made, alcohol is super well hidden, not getting any of it at all. But this is more of an East Coast style beer. The hops are a little on the subtle side. But they're there. And I don't know how much difference using a British yeast as opposed to an American pale ale yeast or, or an American style yeast, whether it be, uh, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, I use the safe ale yeast, 04, 05, and some of the other yeasts. I've used California yeast and stuff like that before. So I don't know what the English style or the British style yeast is going to do as far as taste on the beer. It is a very clean, crisp, easy drinking beer, but not that super. And they call it a hot pun. It's not super hoppy though, guys. It's not. It's not. It tastes like a very well made East Coast style pale ale. So, well, let's right out of the fridge. Let me see if I can get the rest of us in there and see if it clouds it up any more or any at all than what I pulled from the first part of the can. And now that it's in there. There's a, there's a slight bit of difference there. I will tell you that. It's not quite as clear as it was before. So, you know, when I said it was a filtered beer, I'm taking that back. With the bottom half of that can in there, it has got a, a heavy haze in here where I cannot see the light through the big bulb part. I can still see it through here, but not up here. So, one more taste. Maybe a hint of some orange peel in there now. It is very citrusy. But still, more of an East Coast style beer, even now, than a West Coast style. Or anything. It's definitely not a juice bomb as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, well, let me sip on it for a while, straight out of the fridge. Let her taste it, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Tasty beer. Not outstanding or world class, so uh, I'm a little underwhelmed by this beer. Very easy drinking, very low bitterness for a pale ale, hoppy pale ale. I don't know if I would even go that far and say it's a hoppy pale ale. I personally think Sierra Nevada's pale ale is more hoppier than this. Final joke. Alcohol super well hidden. Nice citrusy notes there. But not a super hoppy pale ale as far as I'm concerned. And it is a fresh beer. It's only two months old. So a little underwhelmed by this. A little disappointed in this. Uh, they make some really tasty beers. And I've had some really, really tasty beers from these guys. But it would be a good transitional beer. If you want to get out of the macro lagers, Bud Miller Coors or something like that. And get into something that's a little more hoppier, a little more taste. Uh, this probably would be a good transitional beer to get into something, to get accustomed to some of that hoppiness. Uh, if you've never had a hoppy beer before, this is probably going to have more hops in your palate. and it'll probably be a palate overload, to be honest about it. But somebody who's been drinking uh, hoppy beers or juice bombs or West Coast style, something that's super up in your face hoppy presence, uh, this is a little lackluster in my opinion. So. But they are giving you the information you need, you know. It does have the IBUs and the ABV and the date, uh, canned on date, on the bottom of the can. So two thumbs up to them for doing that. This was just a little bit underwhelming. Guys, I'm going to give this a B plus. Numeric rating would be an 88. That's where I would put this beer. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer, hey, Beer Advocate says 88. So we're in agreement. I'm in agreement with these guys for a change. Uh, that's exactly where I'm putting it. Over to uh, Red Beer. Red Beer, these guys are a little more impressed. Uh, 93 overall, 96 in the style. So Maybe my number is a little underwhelming. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more for a hop, pun, hoppy pale ale than what I'm getting. More of an East Coast style guy. So as far as the East Coast style, maybe 
Uh, it doesn't say West Coast style or juice bomb or anything on it, so maybe my numbers are a little low for this, especially with the information I'm getting. You say, oh my God, it's a 95, it's a this. I wouldn't argue with that, but I was just a little underwhelmed with it. So, And final check-in, over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 3.78, which is their B-plus range. That's exactly where I'm putting it. That's what I think the beer is, is a, is a B-plus. So, if you've had this one, the Hot Pun from Carton Brewing, let me know what you think. We'll be back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of that bridge. See everybody then.